The South had had enough. The election of 1860 was the last straw. Lincoln would surely seek to free the slaves. Economically, Southerners could not stand for that. There, only, there was only one option. That was to leave the Union. South Carolina took the lead and voted to secede. So begins the course that will lead to 500,000 Americans dying protecting their cause. Shots fired. January the 9th, 1861. Shots were fired at daybreak at the steamship Star of the West. The 250 United States troops on board were attempting to enter the harbor of Charleston for the purpose of communicating with Fort Sumter. A President for the Confederacy February the 9th, 1861 Jefferson Davis is chosen as the President of the Confederate States of America. He will be elected that November. The Constitution of the Confederate States of America, March 1861. Preamble. We the people of the Confederate States, each state acting in its sovereign and independent character in order to form a permanent federal government, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity invoking the favor and the guidance of Almighty God, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the Confederate States of America. Fort Sumter, April the 12th, 1861. Confederate forces fired on Fort Sumter, which was unable to effectively fight back. The United States surrendered Fort Sumter. Union forces left the following day. The firing upon Fort Sumter was the opening engagement of the American Civil War. An excerpt from the first inaugural address. Abraham Lincoln, President of the United States of America, in your hands, my dissatisfied fellow countrymen, and not in mine, is the monumentous issue of civil war. The government will not assail you. You can have no conflict without being yourself the aggressors. You have no oath registered in heaven to destroy the government, while I shall have the most solemn one to preserve, protect, and defend it. Excerpt from the Inaugural Address Jefferson Davis, President of the Confederate States of America I enter upon the duties of the office to which I have been chosen with the hope that the beginning of our career as a Confederacy may not be obstructed by hostile opposition to our enjoyment of the separate existence and independence which we have asserted, and with the blessings of Providence, intend to maintain our present condition, achieved in a manner unprecedented in the history of nations, illustrates the American ideal that governments rest upon the consent of the governed, and that it is the right of the people to alter or abolish governments whenever they become destructive to the ends for which they were established. Created using Powtoon.